work in the bathroom? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Like the lady that works in the bathroom, or I guess it, um, men, do you have that? Like, people in the bathroom and they sell stuff. Yeah. So I was hanging out uh, at this club in LA, and I noticed this lady working in there. And I was just like, Lady, <laughs> she must have some kind of story, right? This one is called Lady Trump. Towels for tips. It was a modest existence, but entertaining to say the very least. Club life releases the beast, carnality. The ladies' room was more like a lion's den, a cage for malevolence, cattiness to masquerade itself in heavy perfume, designer costume, flawless cloth. Intricately designed claws that could effortlessly remove prowling jealous eyes from their sockets, stealing confidence from competitors like pickpockets. They came here to stand in my mirror, pretending to powder their noses, out tipping, striking poses, eliminating opposition, Loudly divulging secrets across stalls. I sold tampons, lip gloss, weed, roses, mints, gum, and condoms in lockets. Clocking ducats and buckets, pretending not to really be there and not to care, but cleaning the floor as the least of them fell onto it. Covetous greed. Painfully desirous competition to win the affinity of the lionized male who hunts for felines who dare to go toe-to-toe -to, -toe to win a night of sublime good times. Cat fights are bloody, creating wounds that cut deep into the soul where the heart pumps worthiness, a measurable source of a temporary life that is defeated by the union of Mother Nature and Father Time, whose hands are mighty not to be placated by vanity. They followed her into my office, a pride of lions, boasting, primping, praying, eliminating. She could have been any one of them, frolicking about this diamond-studded jungle where the meek die in the dust. She was just a cub, nervous. A little girl in the ladies' room of the club, unprepared for this warfare that was but a primal circus of lust. I found her sobbing and vomiting into the toilet, squatting before it in the stall reserved for the handicap. She couldn't understand how I knew that she was pregnant, but confessed it through tears of regret. I put the out of order sign on the ladies' room door, consoled her in discourse, preparing her for this course, a testament, I said, to the wonderment of motherhood, a gift for which catty pussy holds no merit. Wiping her tears away, convincing her that she could bear it, I picked her up off the floor and sent her home to prepare for her war. It was a modest existence. Towers for tips. But every once in a while, I gave them more.